Good morning, guys. Welcome to Pattern Traders. Real quick update on, oops, real quick update on BTC um, and what I think price is doing. So we don't have an established Monday range yet, unfortunately. So we're not going to be able to identify the range that way. But if playing with um, the previous range, like I told you guys, uh, daily high, daily low, weekly open, and daily open, um, I'm sitting in scalp longs. I took a portion of them off because this, this price action looks disgusting. It's also a holiday here in, in the States, so expect fuckery. Now, if you're taking the previous the previous range that we were in, technically speaking, if you look at this structure over here, this is the range that you're playing with, right? This is it. So you don't really need to use yesterday's. You could actually use the... the, the previous let's see how this looks let's see how this looks this lead. see there you go perfect okay that's the range that you're playing with you're currently above weekly open which is all, which is an awesome sign um, I don't want to see the price go under weekly open if it does then there's a there's a problem I'll be a little bit concerned um, yeah we did a week on top and we did close very bearish especially in the three hour and the four hour this looks disgusting Right, very terrible bearish candle, which means that there could be potential more downside in play. But for the time being, that's how I'm playing it. I um, I scalped longs last night because of a three, uh, a third, uh, a, three, uh, a three bottom pattern. So more likely than not, more likely than not, sorry about that, guys. More likely than not, when you put in a one hour div or a two hour div like we did yesterday, two two days ago, sorry. Put in the div, right? Div, you see that? Um, you want to buy the higher low that is formed, right? So the higher low was formed, it led to a beautiful, this is your higher low, it led to a beautiful move up. Um, obviously, it might, we might not see continuation. We might only stop over there. You don't know where it's gonna, what's gonna happen, but overall, structure-wise, if you take your fib levels, it probably got rejected at the point eight eight, most definitely, because it's a weekend and nothing, no one's working except for freaking algos. Look, yeah, there you go. It got rejected at the point eight eight. Now, um, that means that the extension should be the seven, the seven eight six. Let me see, seven eight six, seven eight six. Yeah, seven eight six. Uh, pretty sure that's yep, seven eight six. So we don't want to see price go back under the three eight two. Um, otherwise, it's a little three eight two. Where does that lead us? Yeah, three five nine. I don't want to see price under there. Now, if it does happen to come to the weekly open and goes under for whatever reason, for a scam wake or whatever the case is, get a tread line. Um, put a tread line over here. So at least you have it now you have you identified your range. Uh, let me close this I want to just keep my weekly My weekly open. So, so weekly open is gold. So you identified your range. This is your trend line That you're working with. Um, you don't want to see price go under it But if it does happen to go under it or, or whatnot, you want to avoid Losing this structure right here. This is the structure that led to the impulse up, right? You don't want to lose that structure. You lose that structure, now we're talking like very bearish, very bearish behavior. Take the wick over here, which was the last wick down before the move up, which led to the break, right? Get a line across, and that should be your floor. I'm gonna make this red. That should be your floor. Meaning there's no reason, you could come retest this and still be bullish, right? But there's no reason to break that. So if we happen to come down and then reclaim weekly open, then you take your long um, on the weekly open level, but to stop loss at the at the bottom of the wick, whichever wick it was, and then you want to target your, your previous weekly open, which was on um, 38.15. Okay, so that's how I'm playing it. I'm currently still in scalp longs. I might open new ones, depending how price looks at the time when it comes down. But overall, this looks disgusting to me right now. It looks like it wants to come to at least um, at least let's say th low 36 thousands. So like somewhere down here. You know, you know, unless we get some random impulse move up, it looks pretty awful. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm sitting in big Litecoin longs. I took 50% off. I, I'm still sitting in them. The only problem is with Litecoin is that I think that that move up is almost completed. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. We'll see, because it touched the 0.88. You know, it went from yeah. So it's a little, uh, it's a little scary. Um, that's how I'm playing this. And if you want to be a little more precise, take your take your take your green level um, and and 
Sorry about that. I had a phone call. Um, so yeah, so if you want to get a little more precise, put a line over there. Put make this your tread line, and we are within this structure right here. So now, ideally, fake out to the top, fake out to the bottom. So what's gonna do? It's gonna do this, and then up. Or is it gonna do pretty much this, right? I don't know. But that's what I'm watching, guys. Just play safe. I don't want to make this video too long for no reason. Uh, we, we are above our weekly. VWAP, so I mean that's still good. That's bullish. We're above our daily VWAP as well. Um, the previous weekly VWAP, sorry, the previous weekly VWAP uh, is probably yeah, right here on top of the previous structure that led to the impulse up. So I mean we have a lot of support on the way down. If it happens to be that we get down there, so that's how I'm playing it. Be careful, be safe. Oscillator wise, uh, there isn't really much I could update. We the biggest, the biggest. The biggest thing that I want to see is my 12 hour. If this thing turns into a head, we're going to get a massive move up to make a, a right shoulder, which could take like, I don't know, 15 days, right? Of just constant grind up. So this could potentially be a, a low for quite some time. I'm not saying it is, but it could potentially turn into one on uh, 15 minutes trying to put in a head down here. No, I don't like it though. I'm not going to lie to you. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, there's nothing for me to tell you guys. Oh, everything looks fucking green and beautiful. No, it doesn't. Things look very fucking shaky. Excuse me for cursing. I don't mean to curse, but things look shaky. It's because there's no volume. It's like dead. It's dead. It's just fucking dead. So wait until Monday range is established, guys. Let me see the P actually. Let me see the PT pan the PT uh, T TMA bands. Um. All right, let's, let me tell you guys something. <clears throat> so you see how the 15 minute was knocking us down the whole time over here, and now we're finally act it's acting as support. That's a good thing. But if you go to your one hour. You need to see that the TMA bands curl. So when we were over here, right, and we broke under the top portion and we, we started bouncing off the mid, before we broke mid, these things started curling down. Now they're curling up. You see how the bands on the one hour guys are curling up? See how they're like pointing up? That shows that momentum has flipped, possibly, right? Flipped. To the bull side. I'm not saying that this is bullish or bear. I'm just saying that that's a good indication, more confluence that this long will pan out. See how all the bands are pointing up, right? Um, and the mid band is pointing up as what? Well. The mid band should be in the 15 minute green. It shouldn't be red. Oh, it's red. That's not good, guys. I mean, the mic was still still uh, bearish. That's not good. The one hour should be. Yeah, you can't. If the 15 minute is freaking red, I can expect the one hour to be red. I mean, the uh, green. So. The TMA bands are giving me some hope that let me see, are we under the four hour? We are under the four hour. Of course, we're under the four hour. Jesus Christ! The TMA bands are giving me some hope that this could potentially be a good play. Um, I just watch the 15 minute guys. That's all I'm telling you guys. Watch the 15 minute TMA band. You want it to constantly be above it. If you do happen to break it, you don't want to stay under for more than like maybe five, six, 15 minute candles, right? You want to be above it. A one hour close under the 15 minute, no, a one hour close under the mid TMA band is not bullish, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, uh, for example, like right here, right? Or like right here, consolidation, rejection, right? Fake out. So as long as we stay above the one hour TMA, we should be okay. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't want to make it too long. Eight minutes is good enough. I don't have much to say other than wait for the PT range to establish. Again, guys, wait for the range to establish. I'll make another video. Wait for this to establish. And once the PT establishes itself, let me 